we should go in here to the database and see. We, we looked at items in our labor filter, and we saw that labor items had some crews assigned to those filters. And I see that those crews carry a rate. Where do these rates come from? You'll notice, like on this item, I have a pipe laying crew. And you'll notice I have a, a composite rate of $253 an hour. And I want to look at just how we maintain that information. So if I come in here to my labor and equipment, I could look at my labor rate table in here, and I can see that I've got some sample labor rates. So for every trade that's in the database, I have an hourly rate, and I can also add all the necessary benefit rates to that base rate to come up with a composite rate. And the crews that I build will actually take the individual resources, look at their hourly rates and any benefit rate to come up with a composite rate. The same is true for equipment. So I can have equipment rates for running maybe rented equipment or leased equipment. And so I not only have the hourly rate for that equipment, I can actually store benefit rates, which might represent things like oil and gas and maintenance. And the reason I would do that is to get an overall composite rate for that piece of equipment. So we handle your labor rate tables, your equipment rate tables. We add the base rates and so on to come up with a composite rate. And that's how we're able to come up with the, the accurate rate for the individual crews that you've assigned to these items. 